For this example, we are asked to write down the reaction quotient for this chemical reaction, which is the combustion reaction of a propane gas. In order to write down the reaction quotient for this reaction, once again, we need to make sure this chemical reaction is balanced. So now, let's take a look. We have three carbon on the reactant side and only one carbon on the product side. So we should put a three in front of CO2 on the product side to balance the number of carbon atoms. Then we take a look at hydrogen. On the left-hand side, we have eight hydrogen atoms on the left-hand side. And on the product side, we only have two hydrogen atoms. So in order to get eight hydrogen atoms, we need to put a four right here. Okay. So now on both sides of the reaction, we have eight hydrogen atoms. So the only thing that's left is oxygen we need to balance. On the left-hand side, we have two oxygen atoms. And on the right-hand side, we have three times two, which is six oxygen atoms, plus another four. So that means that gives you the total number of 10 oxygen atoms on the product side. So we have two oxygen atoms and 10. So we should put a five in front of O2 to balance the number of oxygen atoms on this reaction. So now this chemical reaction is balanced. We are ready to write down the reaction quotient for the combustion reaction of propane gas. Reaction quotient, the symbol is QC, equal to the concentration of the product, CO2, the stoichiometric coefficient, 3, which will go to the power of the molar concentration of CO2, times the concentration of H2O raised to the fourth power divided by the concentration of the reactant, in this case the propane gas C3H8, and then this is only the first power times the concentration of O2 raised to the fifth power. That's it. This is the reaction quotient for the combustion reaction of the propane gas.